Locate the components for the torsion spring assembly. The components consist of torsion springs, nylon bearing, center bearing bracket, two end bearing brackets, torsion bar or shaft, and a pair of lifting drums. Install nylon bearing onto torsion shaft. Install torsion spring in position in center of the shaft. Install the left cable drum, which is indicated with red markings, with the set screws positioned toward the torsion spring and onto the torsion shaft. Install right side cable drum, which is indicated with black markings, with the set screws positioned toward the torsion spring and onto the torsion shaft. We will now install the end bearing plates. There is a right and a left side bearing plate. The flange of the bearing plate should face the same direction as it is to be installed on. Bolt the two end bearing plates to horizontal angles using two 3 8 inch by 16 by 3 4 inch carriage bolts and nuts. Pre-drill holes using 3 16 inch drill bit to prevent the jams from splitting. Install one 5 16 inch by 1 and 5 8 inch lag bolts into the upper flange of the bearing plates and into the jams. Raise spring assembly over the horizontal track and place ends in the end bearing plates. Level shaft and position center bearing plate. Be sure that the center bearing plate has a spring warning tag attached to it. If this is torn or missing, attach a new tag. Mark and pre-drill 3 16 inch holes to prevent splitting. Fasten the center bearing plate to a minimum 2 by 6 center pad with two 5 16 inch by 1 and 5 8 inch red lag bolts, making sure shorter flange of center bearing plate is positioned at bottom. Do not attach center bearing plate directly to sheetrock. Be sure that the center bearing plate is securely fastened. Securely attach the spring to the center bearing plate using two 3 8 inch by 1 and half inch machine bolts and red hex nuts. Bring cable up between wall and rollers and over the top of the drum and insert cable end into drum slot. Slide drum against end bearing plate and make sure the slot is facing installer. Draw cables tight and tighten set screws on drum to lock into shaft. After contact with tubular shaft, turn the set screw an additional half to one full turn. Be careful not to over tighten screws and puncture the tubing. Repeat these steps for the other side. Draw a chalk line across the spring. Repeat this process on the other spring, if necessary. When spring assembly, cable, and drums have been set in place, fasten vice grips to the shaft and reset handle against wall to hold assembly in place and to maintain cable tension until winding is complete. Make sure vice grips are not resting against sheetrock because the extreme pressure could cause sheetrock to crack. Winding springs is the most dangerous part of the Adore installation. Use two half inch diameter cold rolled steel spring winding bars, 16 inches to 24 inches long for winding the springs. Position yourself on a sturdy ladder and keep slightly to the side of the winding bars. Never wind springs directly in front of the winding bars because it could result in injury. Keep a firm grip on the winding bars. Insert winding bar into the full depth of the hole and be sure as you wind that the bottom bar is securely in place before removing the upper bar. Wind each spring in an upward direction, turning them one quarter turn to one half turn at a time. Springs should be wound the appropriate number of times according to the weight of the door. Tighten the spring set screws. After contact with tubular shaft, turn the set screw an additional half turn to one full turn. Be careful not to over tighten set screws and puncture the tubing. Always tighten set screws securely to shaft before removing winding bars. Carefully remove vice grips on door and shaft and raise the door halfway up to check the spacing of the door and the horizontal track. Use vice grips to secure door in halfway up position. Make sure there is 3 8 inch clearance between the door and track. A properly counterbalanced door should be able to be raised three to four feet off the floor and not move. Open and close the door several times to test operation of the door. Readjust springs if necessary. Door should operate smoothly. Check over the entire installation. 
Permanently fasten rear track hangers and tighten all bolts. Finish nailing weather stripping on the perimeter of the door.